exit, count, and fly away, we call it. Um, once it's time to go, door will come open, we'll stand up, start moving to the rear. Flat five, wave off, pull, pull it a foot and let it go. It's a little different than a pilot shoot. The pilot shoot, you pull the full arm extension. And then we go, I want you to count five seconds when we leave the airplane. So count 1,000. I'm here to skydive mainly because, you know, already in the first two days, uh, the similarities between going out and doing a training mission and or school with military people, it's exactly how I feel. And granted, uh, Black Rifle Coffee, the majority of us have served in some capacity, and so the culture is there, but there's something so entertaining and fun about going out and trying something new like skydiving. For me, I'm only a static line guy, and something I've always wanted to do is free fall. So being able to create that opportunity, not only for the, the, the founders, but some of the employees and some of the um, combat wounded veterans with us is just truly an amazing experience, not only because of their presence, but we're going out and doing something awesome, like jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. Evan's one of my best friends. He is a very, very driven man. Um, and he, he leads with purpose. And, you know, some people think, think he comes off fairly aggressive with his tone, but it's just because he's passionate about what he does. And um, I greatly respect him for that. And he's made a great business partner in this whole endeavor. I like rounds, so I'm trying to convert everybody back to rounds. So <laughs> if you guys hear it, just know that that's, what, that's my goal. <laughs> I like jumping out of planes. It's always been fun for me. Uh, now I get to do something with my coffee partners and my friends that I wasn't doing this in the military with. So I get to participate in this experience and have fun. Out in, out. I've always had this uh, desire to go out and do adventurous things, right? So I'm somewhat of a risk taker, which is very common for a lot of entrepreneurs. Logan Stark is a creative, He's consistent, he's reliable, he's honest, he's got a significant amount of integrity. He's one of my best friends. He's also one of my business partners. I wanna do hyper dangerous tasks strictly to do them. I really enjoy being the new guy. I really enjoy starting from scratch with something. I enjoy the process of not picking up bad habits, listening to experts, going through what it means to be, go from a rookie to an expert. And the, you just don't do that as much when you get out of the military. So coming to do something like this, even if I wasn't like doing the AFF course, like I would still enjoy the process of just going in the tunnel and like learning what that's like. And then Jericho's like, Jericho's like my best friend. Like, I fucking love that. Like, I I have never like had this like weird connection with another fucking male. It sounds so homoerotic. We're supposed to like be together in this lifetime. I don't know. Like, it's fucking, it's hard to describe. Yeah. yeah. You did? Well, how'd, how'd, you, how'd you do that? Straight. I'm here at the course. Part of this is how uh, Evan kind of lured me into the circle come and start working here um but i'm here to do fucking cool shit with my friends living a great story and then turn around and telling it this will be my first experience with free fall i uh i jumped static line for the entirety of my career um i was a really experienced static line guy um but yeah for free fall this is this is first first timer it takes a lot of discipline to be able to do that because there's a lot of feelings going on in your head the only reason I say Eli is because a couple other people are like, oh, there's no way Eli's going to jump. But I don't know. Eli, Army, zero experience. Purple heart. Purple, Purple heart. Purple heart. Purple heart. <laughs> Purple heart. Purple heart. In this group, it's either you do it and you go all the way or you get made fun of and ridiculed for not doing it. So I definitely went to the first side of that. My only personal goal was to do something I have never done before. You live one time, make the most of it. You, you show people it's like, hey, don't be trapped in a cage. Like explore, live life, just do everything. Suck it up. If it's terrifying, 
do it anyways. Jared is an awesome human. He is fun. He is, as we call him, the people collector. He's very, very amazing at networking. He shines at it and he builds these communities. How we all met is through Jared Taylor. So we're truly blessed to have him in our lives. But Jared is also chaos reincarnated. Evan told me I had to be here for this. I was, I had something else like I was making a sandwich today earlier, but told me I had to get on this plane to Eloy, Arizona. And now here we are apparently learning how to jump from planes. So I don't really understand the logic in where we're going with all this, but you know, I'll play along for, uh, for the sake of the joke. I'm predicting the second that we kind of get these initial jumps out of the way and, and the, the, jitteriness or nervousness of the unknown and allure, uh, the unknown of what we're about to partake in, I think it's going to shift into a competitive nature and that everybody is going to be chasing to be the best one at this. But it's awesome that this is kind of the first thing everybody started on a level playing field. So you're really going to see who, who has that brain and that personality that can pick up something they know nothing about and master it faster than everybody else. Um, make no mistake about it. There is no mentoring those guys. <laughs> it's like they're going to soak up every bit of uh, knowledge they can get from the other instructors around the DZ. And then we're going to be peers. And then the, like a month from now, Logan's going to be out flying everybody and it's going to be great. <laughs> so the daily schedule for this course is early mornings, 5, 530 in the morning. So we can get the first lift off by 6.30. We're always racing the weather. Um, the winds will always pick up. So we only have a limited amount of time to where we can't jump anymore safely. Um, we have about 25 hours of wind tunnel we'll fly. We'll probably fly about four to six hours of airplane time every day. There's a lot of variables in there as far as exiting the airplane correctly, you know, uh, drive my hips down, getting that arch so you have a smooth opening, at least for a free fall. And then um, obviously going through it, a lot of the stuff to make sure I know where my my pilot chute is at. And then um, once there, just making sure we ride that canopy down smart and safe and follow our line of flight so we're landing against the wind. Didn't we have this like tucked in more? Open that riser. Yeah, we we uh we all have a we'll call it nervous anticipation. Fucked up the landing a little bit. Scared me there with those hands for a second. Oh, man. <laughs> that, yeah, that was good. Just once you flare, keep them down. <laughs> no, just a little right. Yeah, you're fine. All right, <laughs> All right, land right for me. <laughs> you can say there's support for each other because we are the first to sabotage each other. I would not be surprised if there is a shoot this week that has been sabotaged. And that would, but it's not a mean thing. I don't, I, we don't, you don't look at me like that. It's more so to check somebody's ability to show us they knew what they were trained to do. So, I mean, it's, you can't, nobody can get mad. It was just, I was just making sure you were paying attention. And that's kind of the attitude amongst the group. Crush it, buddy. We can't shock this competitiveness. Like, we can't. It's part of who we are. So that's a learned behavior from being on a team and being in teams and being in the military for as long as we all were. 
when you come from, I think the the units that we that we came from, you can be very competitive, if not like downright dirty, rotten competitive. But when it's game time, you're a team, and so those repetitions in team and then galvanized in combat, like that's the that's the good stuff. We are here to do a, a basic skydiving course to bring them up from no jump experience all the way to a um, level one or an eight license jumper, 25 jumps solo. Now they can go out there and drop zone, run a parachute and safely jump and land by themselves. For us, it's, we told me about the progression. Safely in the wind tunnel, safely out of the wind tunnel, back home, safely in the airplane, safely out of the airplane, safely on the ground. Do that as many times as we can in 14 days. That's it. Everybody we chose to work here, we've worked with them in the past for a long time in the military, even civilian stuff. They're the best on earth. They are. I mean, some of these guys have 20,000 skydives. You don't have 10,000 wake ups in you, right? That dude safely landed a parachute twice as many times you've woken up taking a piss. That's not an accident. But he's the best dude on earth. And we just stacked all of those up. Anybody who I could have called, they're out here right now. But it's been exciting communicating with all my friends that are MFF qualified because I'm, I'm finally going to understand what they loved about it so much for so many years. Well, for me, it's an important thing to uh, carry on my training. I haven't I hadn't jumped for over two years, and uh, so for me, it's a refresher. And we have a lot of these dudes here that have jumped through their career but haven't jumped in a while. I'm here with some of the other coaches to help them get their stuff back up to snuff, get themselves put together so eventually we can do a cool project. It's actually really cool is to see some of these guys that have been through training with the GBRS guys and the level that they're at, I mean, took, it took years and years for guys to get to that level when I was in, um, which, you know, says a lot about the training here. They're gonna have to go way back, back to student mode, just like you're in basic airborne school or anything else. Just because you were in the military, just because you're the, the CEO of a company, the parachute doesn't care. Perfect, just keep moving right at the center of the grass, hands up. Um, so business is extremely hard and one of the analogies I like to make is like when you become pregnant everybody says congratulations they just don't know how many times you got fucked to get there and business is so similar I mean there's just a plethora of, of different challenges throughout it you know how do we get a good product how do we market the product then you market it too well and you have supply chain issues and then you have vendor issues and you have you know it, name, name it and Black Rifle Coffee has been through it. The biggest thing that we've been able to overcome is 
sacrificing our collective ego for the greater good. How are you feeling, buddy? I'm fine. Tough day. So, we're good. We had a uh, bad, like, problems over the radio, so I was like, I just need a flare, I need a flare. You know, Matt getting hurt, you know, he had a partial tear in his MCL, one of those, whatever that was, Eli getting hurt, Eli hurt his quad or something, I don't know. Um, I think, you know, all those guys, like, God, we had a 50% attrition rate. Like, <laughs> that's, that's pretty wild, man. quit this morning. Yeah. Quit's the wrong word. I almost decided I didn't want to do this anymore. Just throwing that out there in case I decide to quit later. Just, <laughs> this morning I was just like, this is not fucking fun. Um, but I had some fun on that one. You go out and you do very hard things, and sometimes they're inherently dangerous. Uh, well, that's life. Really incredible acts of courage with these guys, like with everybody, where we can inspire and lead an entire generation of GWAT veterans to go out and just do something cool with my friends that maybe have been injured, or maybe they're. Maybe they're down, they're a little bit depressed because they used to have a team and they don't have a team anymore. They're, they're isolated and they feel alone. Have a high grip here. Got Evan, Jericho, and Logan all up in the plane, jump number 25. So this is where they become A certified, A licensed, licensed to be dangerous, whatever you want to call it, this is it. How has it been? I think it's been, for me personally, it's been one of the more enlightening things that I've ever done in my life. There's some boys who aren't here anymore. And if they could pick out of a fucking bucket of things for me to do, this is one of those things that like, it feels like you're making the boys happy. You know, you're like, you're still fucking living.
people stomping on you because you're a patriot. Not out here. Patriotism isn't dead in the Black Rifle Coffee, I assure you that. And it's humbling to watch.